Okay, in this video, we're going to see how to do a very simple addition to an OpenSim model. Specifically, we're going to see how do we add a marker to the model. So I'm going to open up my, my model here that I've been using in class. Most recently, we used this for static optimization, uh, my, my uh, modified Raja Gopal model that has the original uh, one degree of freedom knee here. And so there's that model there, and this model has some markers on it. And suppose, for example, I wanted to add a marker onto the top of the head. You know, suppose I had motion capture data that I wanted to uh, apply to this model, but that there's a marker on the top of the head, and I wanted it to include uh, that marker, and my model here currently does not have a marker on the top of the head. How do, how do I add that particular marker to the model here? Um, here's that same model, but opened up in my text editor here. And the markers in the model are stored under this tag here called marker set. Okay, so if I search for marker set, it'll bring me right to that part of the code. And here is where all of my markers are defined, right? So my marker R A C R, that's my right acromion marker, that's in the graphics here. That's this you know particular marker right there that I just clicked on, the right acromion marker. And you can see here it's defined as existing on a certain body, specifically the torso body in the model, and it's located at a specific set of XYZ coordinates in the reference frame of that model. Okay. And so what does that mean exactly, the reference frame of that model? Like how do I how do I attach meaning to these coordinates here? Um, if you go back to your OpenSim model here, and then if under navigator here you go to bodies and then open up that list there. And then if I go to the torso body there, um, if I right click on that torso body, it gives me some options for visualization here. I can choose if I want to, you know, show that body's graphic at all. So by hiding there, I can, can get rid of it. And that's not deleting it from my model. It's just, you know, not displaying it at this time. I can go back to show and get it to show back up there. Um, don't fall too much in love with these graphics here. Um, these are just like images that are pinned to the uh, mechanical definition of this torso body here. Um, if you want to see more like mechanically what's going on here, you can right click it and do show mass center, which makes this big green dot, which shows you, you know, when the model's in its neutral default pose here, where is the center of mass of that torso body located. And then on top of that, you can right click it and do show axes. which didn't seem to do anything. Oh, there it is down there. Um, and then that shows you the, it's kind of hard to see, um, but down there you can see that little orange line and that little blue line. And it's not easy to see it here, but there's also a uh, little green line there. You can kind of subtly see the, the top of it poking out of the bottom part of the spine there. Um, that's the XYZ uh, coordinate axes for that torso body. Um, attached to the origin of that body segment. Okay. And then I can go over here and go down to my, for example, our lum lumbar extension coordinate here. And I can see if I change that coordinate, that's rotating that body segment about that sagittal blue axis there relative to its parent body segment, which is the pelvis here. Okay, or I can do the same thing in the bending direction. That rotates it about that frontal plane axis. And I can do the same thing in the rotation direction, rotating it about that uh, transverse plane axis there. Okay, so this is a good way to kind of visualize mechanically what's going on in these body segments here. Now, this acromion marker, back to that, it's defined on the torso body with an XYZ coordinate set there. And XYZ of what specifically? Well, it's XYZ along these three body segment axes here with the origin of that coordinate system being 0, 0, 0, right? So if I went in here and made a marker whose location tag there was 0, 0, 0, that would place a marker at the origin of this coordinate system here. Okay. When I go in here with the marker named right acromion that's located at 
uh, negative 0.003, uh, 0.42499, and 0.13. Um, that's negative 0.003 in this x direction, that red axis, um, positive 0.42 whatever in the y axis, and then uh, whatever it was, positive 0.13, a negative point, or a positive 0.13 for the right one in the z axis, which gets me to this chromion spot there. So if I wanted to define a marker on the top of the head, let's just copy an existing marker there and then paste it there and let's just call it head or let's just you know, call it even more descriptive, top of head. And I'm still gonna have it be on the torso and let's just kind of assume things are at zero, zero, zero. And I can kind of use my acromion marker as a starting point here where I can say, okay, if I went you know, 0.425-ish meters vertically from that origin, that gets me to right about that shoulder height there. All right, so if I want to get up to top of the head height here, I probably am talking about going like, eh, I don't know if that's 0 0.4, this is maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Maybe I'm talking like 0.6-ish meters, you know, vertically from the origin of this torso body segment to get to the top of the head there. So let's just use that as a starting point here. We'll go zero in the x direction, positive 0 0.7, just to make sure we're pretty high there in the y direction, and zero in the z direction. Okay. And then I save that file. Um, there's not a good way that I know of to just kind of refresh the model here that's already loaded in. Um, there might be a way to do that. If there is, I don't know it. So I just kind of go here and close the thing. And I don't think I actually made any changes. So let's just say no. And then if I reload that file again, then it's got my change that I made there in the, in the text of that file over in my text editor there, right? And you can see that there it placed a model that is not positioned, right? You know, it's not sitting on top of the head, but it positioned it uh, 0.7 meters vertically from the origin of that body segment. Okay. And then if I go back here to my coordinates, and change my lumbar angles there. I can see that marker translating appropriately with, with the lumbar uh, joint motions there as, as I would expect. Right? Um, the issue is that if I want it to be on top of the head, it's not currently on top of the head. Right? So then I would go back here and I would say, ah, 0.7, that's too high. Let's try 0.65. And then close it and open it back again. And that looks pretty good, right? I was just kind of guessing there, but that placed it on top of the head. Um, it's kind of embedded in the in a little bit in the bone of my my model and my my real person. They're going to have like some skin and some hair in the way, so I might say that's that's a little bit too low. So let's maybe try a couple centimeters higher, 0 0.67. Close that, load it up again. And there we go. That looks pretty good, right? There's a little bit of a gap in there, but you know there's going to be you know, some skin, and most people might have some hair up there. You know, if you think that's a little too high still, you can maybe, you know, bring it down half a centimeter or so. Try it again, and there we go. So now we've got a marker that's, you know, reason reasonably located where, you know, a marker might be sitting on the, the top of the head of, like, an actual person. Okay. Now, suppose I wanted to place markers on some other body here, it would be the same as that process there. I would just be, you know, normally copying some existing marker, you know, pasting it here on this list, wherever I think it's appropriate. The order of the list doesn't really matter. They can, they can be in any particular order. Um, changing the, the body that I want it to be applied to and changing the coordinates where that model exists on that body. And to get a sense of like, what these coordinates mean and where, where you're placing it and what those numbers should be, um, you can do that, that process that I showed you there for um, showing the coordinate axes of the body segments for any one of those body segments. There's nothing there that's unique about the torso. So suppose I wanted to place a marker on like the, uh, the right uh, thigh, say, or the right femur segment there. I can go to that body and I can right click that and I can do show axes and that will show the X, Y, Z uh, coordinate axes for the right femur there, right? So it flexes and extends about 
this blue axis and it adduct, abducts about that red axis and it internal externally rotates about that green axis. And those are also the axes where all the markers on the femur are defined by. So the, the you know, XYZ coordinates of those markers are X in that direction, Y in that direction, Z in that direction, or sorry, X, X in the red direction, Y in the green direction, Z in the, in the blue direction there. Okay. So that is how you add a marker to a model in an OpenSim model there.